What quote hangs on your wall? Welcome to Gold Dead and Quote of the Day. I'm Tony Woodall, your host, and I will share with you a great quote I've heard, read, or that's been shared by one of my guests on Gold Getting Podcast Weekly Show, where I ask, what quote hangs on your wall? Thanks for listening, folks, and I really appreciate it. Hello, Gold Getters. Welcome to the show today. Thank you so much for stopping by and listening to our podcast today, Gold Getting Quote of the Day, part of Gold Getting Podcast. Happy New Year. I am so glad that you've joined us. This is the first day of 2016, and we are going to rock 2016 and make it the best year that we've ever had, and I appreciate you being with us today. Today's quote of the day is from Socrates. The quote is, The secret of change is to focus your energy not on fighting the old, but on building the new. And when I saw this quote, it occurred to me that Socrates was saying three things in this statement. I've labeled these the three secrets of change, according to Socrates. Number one, focus your energy. Number two, focus your energy on not fighting the old. And number three, focus your energy on building the new. So let's talk about focus your energy. It's important to focus on what you're trying to change. John Lee Dumas of Entrepreneur on Fire podcast talks about focus a lot and explains it as follow one course until successful, which makes a lot of sense. Focus your energy on not fighting the old. Too many people continue to worry about what was. They keep trying to fight old battles. They keep their mind on what they could have done or should have done, not on what they should be doing or can be doing. And the last part was focus your energy on building the new. When you dream new dreams, set new goals, your energy has to be on what needs to be done to accomplish it. What's new that I need to do? When we start a new year, if we focus our energy on building the new, we will get a long way on where we want to be. So these are the three secrets of change, and they're the main focus of what Socrates says about focus. Out with the old and in with the new. Go out today and focus on the new. And again, this is Tony Woodall, your host for Goal Getting Podcast and Goal Getting Quote of the Day. I do appreciate you listening today. I want to remind you that Goal Getting Podcast, our weekly show that has been dropping on Wednesdays, is on winter break. We will start back with season two of the Goal Getting Podcast weekly shows on February 25th, which will be our one year anniversary, and we'll start season two then. I will be doing Quote of the Day episodes on Monday and Tuesday and Friday and Saturdays for all of you who are listening to the Quote of the Day. There's going to be a four-day week on quotes during the winter break. I want to keep you inspired and keep you motivated with some great quotes that I find out there and my thoughts on those quotes. I would love to hear what you have to say about those quotes, or if you've got even some quotes that you think are important to you that you would like to hear on the air and part of the show, please email me at tony at goalgettingpodcast.com. Send me your quote and your thoughts on that quote, what it means to you and your name, of course, and we will focus the attention on you for that particular episode. So, I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great new year coming up. It has been a phenomenal, successful year for me in my life. Things are working well. The podcast is going great. Um, I had changed careers, you know, in September and started that and having a blast as a community manager for our company. It is what I wanted to do. And, you know, when I've realized what my passions were and how I could take a job or find a job doing what I loved, it just happened to come to me uh, because of the work that I did with my goal getting, um, you know, goal achievement success system that we talk about on the show here today. And speaking of that, I want to help you get the goals you set and make this year the best year ever for you as well. Do you want to achieve your goals? Do you want to walk your own path and go where you've never been before? Does your subconscious mind play goalie for the other team, blocking your goals and dreams? Well, you can change your mind and make it play for your team. I put together my goal achievement success system to help you do just that. And part of that goal achievement success system is the mental bank program. And the mental bank program 
is a big part of that system. And I discussed the mental bank program and the concepts in three episodes of the Goal Getting Podcast. And that was episode 34, which was entitled, Is This What You Struggle With? A very important lesson on how the subconscious mind works and how you can overcome those negative um, belief systems that may be in there. Episode 35, Is Your Mind Killing Your Dreams? Six Steps to Stop It Now. How to Change your subconscious mind and your limiting beliefs so that they work for you. And episode 36 was success is not an accident. Take that to the bank. And I use the mental bank ledger and that's part of that. And when you use the mental bank program and the mental bank ledger, along with our three keys to successful goal setting, you're going to have the best year of your life. It'll change your subconscious mind into that goal getting machine that it was designed to be. So if you want to find out, go to our show notes page at goalgettingpodcast.com forward slash QOD172. There's links to all of those episodes. There's links to, you know, everything that you need out there to get a hold of your subconscious mind and turn it to work for you. This is Tony Woodall. And again, I do thank you for listening. There's so much we've got going for us in 2016 for this new year, regardless of what year it is, you have the ability to get the goals you set. And I want to help you do that. So thank you for listening. If you like this episode, share it with your family and friends, let them know about it, forward it, put it on social media. I would appreciate it. Let, uh, you know, tweet about it. Send that information to people that you think could use it. I'm going to sign off now and have a great evening. Happy New Year to you. Have a great day. Make it a great year.